There she is, the old turd, hanging out there. Again, I'll get ready to start tearing this down. Wonder what's like. Wonder what's gonna be like to get those control arm bushings out. Maybe this tool I fabbed out will help out. We're about to find out. We could be going down a shit show. Today is May 1st, day of filming, and Zoolander Trudeau announces a gun ban. Totally blows my mind how a minority government can try to push something through when all these gun related crimes were from people who didn't have a fucking firearm license. That guy is a fucking retard. That also being said, speaking of more idiots, is that still a lot of people um, seem to think that these videos are filmed in real time and that when they watch them, they just happen like, give your head a fucking shake. I mean, if you're watching a video and you're seeing snow in fucking June, don't be fucking stupid, all right? Let's get to work on this fur. Oh, you want to play that game, do you? Being stuck. Where's my little pry bar? Maybe I can use that. Coax it off. There we go. There we go. I broke her free. I want to see if I could bust it free by hand because I don't want to. Oh, it's going to come right off. Because I don't want to have a twist in there. Given the amount of rust, I'm surprised that it just popped off like that. Uh, getting ready to start doing this, and I noticed the uh, upper ball joint is ripped as well. So I gotta do the upper control arms too. What sucks rock auto, they're half the price, but they want to gouge you $80 shipping and not here until Wednesday. So I'm just gonna get them locally in town. But before I run down and get them, I wanna continue busting this free because now I gotta tear apart the whole front end again. Bust the strut out, uh, this is a nightmare. That POS was not coming off. Just got down to Napa, picked up my upper control arms, got this sleeve retainer for the lower ball joints. This shit's expensive, it's like 50 bucks. Jesus. Gonna have to be careful, of course, we got this shit show now. This is where I give you my pro tip. Don't knock that free. Unless you have the nut completely removed. Because as you see, you have to cut that off now. This is one of those things where it can either go smoothly or Nasty. Oh yeah, it's gonna come out. I'll get my other camera right here just to, just to shoot it. the Ford life what a shit show tools all over the place tools in a bucket just want to set this truck on fire and fuck it upper control arm it's all cracked around the pin there ball joint boot was all dry rotted and as you can see there's not really any grease left in there Oh yeah, you can see it more pronounced right there, how cracked it is. But what I need to do is try to figure out how the hell I'm going to get these bushings out. 
Might try that combination. That's almost the same size. And then a cup. Can only grab right there, there's nowhere else, so should be interesting. C clamp isn't big enough. I didn't think this out too well. I could probably get a 3/8 through there. Yeah. That's what I thought was gonna happen. So it looks like it's going. I got the press. A little bit off center. I uh, definitely made some progress. Well, it's coming. Not nicely, but it's coming. is to cut this little knob off before you try to press it with that cut off it frees up a little bit of room with the ball joint press the biggest problem is, is that you can't get on straight because the outside bushing is obviously the same width as the housing but if I could just get that to break a little bit oh yeah I went in pretty easy Now I got that much, should be enough to work with. I'm just gonna spray some WD-40 in there. Use an air chisel to work it out. Oh yeah, it'll come. Lighten this down a little bit more. Gotta keep going from side to side. Oh fuck yeah, bro. You. Well, this is gonna come off all right. Thought the uh, control arm sway bar was gonna be a real, real bitch, but it's coming. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Dumb guts, are you watching the birds outside before you have a nap? I'm going back to the shit show. All right, it's next day, and this is what I came up with. I got this hydraulic ram for the knockout punches. It has uh, a throw of about one inch. It's three quarter inch fine is the thread. But of course, that's too thick to go through the bushing. But I also have this grade eight fine that I'm going to chop off a piece weld this on because that goes through will go through easily it'll take a little bit of time but i think we can make that work once that cools down I'll give it a try see how strong my welds are so I just want to show you Look at that success There you have it, one bushing is in, time to do the other one. I'm gonna give you a word of advice right now. This is not worth the time or effort, trust me. I thought it was gonna be a lot smoother. I fucked up one bushing. 
money down the drain. Spent so much time machining shit, trying to make something work. Get the bushings in. My little tool worked all right, but then towards the end, I fucking took a dump. And I, you got to figure out, you know, how much time are you spending trying to save a few dollars? Man, I'm probably into this for like, fuck, I don't even want to say. It's embarrassing trying to get those bushings in. There's no easy way. There's probably a reason why that on the internet, if you Google lower control arm F-150 bushings that everybody just says, just buy a new control arm. There's a reason for that. There is a reason for sure. Don't fuck around. Don't waste your time. Just buy a new control arm. I'm going to put the ball joint in this one and I'm just going to get a new control arm for the other side because this is brutal. All right. Looks like we're in. Throw the snap ring in place. Got the new fancy sway bar link put on. So now I'm ready to put that back in. I cleaned it up as much as I possibly can. I'm reusing my vacuum hub, so cleaned it up, regreased it, regrease that. Now this is where the fun begins. You got to be very careful putting the IWE back in, because if you install it incorrectly, things are not going to end well for you. Very careful. Very careful. So now, before you bolt her up, you want to make sure. The hub is engaged, which means it's got a, your half axle's got to turn. So now they got that installing and tighten up the bolts. So I get everything back in and tightened up except for the control arm bolts and the sway bar link. I'm gonna put the tire on, put the weight back down on the vehicle and then tighten up the bushings. Oh, thank God that's done. <sighs> leave all my tools in a bucket because I still got to do the other side but I'm just going to get a control arm fuck that it's way more work than what's yeah, worth I've been outside all day, I'm sorry you must be famished couple hours past feeding time, I know and you're going to be upset take a dump on my pillow motherfucking pure time are you debating to go inside? No, are you? And then I check out your little thing. Are you just gonna hoard all your toys in the pile like you normally do and lay on them, Mr. Tomcats? What are you doing? Hmm? You're just gonna chill today? Got one project I wanna take care of, but need to take care of this garage first. These ball joint press kits are a lifesaver. If it's one thing I do wish is that the seat press was a little larger. I mean, this works for most things, but some things you just need that couple extra inches. So you don't need to be creative. My word of advice for anybody who's ever interested in buying their own mill or lathe to fool around with, Tooling is very expensive Depending on obviously like this bench top model was pretty expensive when I bought it, but all your end mills And all that will probably far exceed the cost of the mill in the end So my advice is if you're gonna buy one, you're not sure of one you never used one before Try to buy one used with tooling because you're gonna find out fast how expensive it is Last thing I want to do I want to see if this alternator works I picked this up for the truck a few years ago in the junkyard. It was like brand new when I pulled it out of the junkyard and just by sitting on the shelf, it's uh, looks like it's aged like 50 years. I don't know, there's just too much moisture on the shelf, but it was all shiny aluminum and now it's all corroded. I'd like to see if it works or if having it just sit around in the shelf has killed it. Uh, just 
release the tension, back it off. I'm holding the belt, my bungee cord. Ah, fuck. Failed. It bounced off. Crap. That sucks. Fucking piece of shit. Never had that fucking happen before. Fuck me. That's what I hate about this fucking wrench. Swivel head fucks you over. Slipped off the tensioner. Got the belt back on, everything on, it's pulleys. What happened is that long ratchet slipped out of the tensioner there when I was putting the belt back on. Almost made me tear some holes in my fist, if you know what I'm saying. This is the moment where we jump a belt and all hell breaks loose. Oh, looks like it's charging. Well, the one off the shelf works. So does this one still, but... Bearings are getting a little dry. Keep it as backup, though. Oh, God. That's your favorite window in the whole house. And that's where you spend most of your time. What are you doing? Are you grooming yourself in the window? No, gats. Right, it's motherfucking beer time. I think I'll have this last peanut butter and jam stout. All right, let's crack this last one out. Imperial peanut butter and jam stout. I love my craft beers, but right now it's way too expensive to drink them. Uh, motherfucking beer. Ooh, hiccups. Motherfucking beer time. So, let's recap in this video. Sometimes, the cheaper route is not always the better route. Learned a hard lesson right there. Thought, just get away with replacing the bushings in the F-150. It's doable. Is it worth the time and effort? Absolutely not. The amount of time and effort I spent machining a piece to push those bushings in, Drilling a hole through my knockout punch so I could put a, a rod through it. And then on the back side, I originally welded it in. But the threads were actually metric and I had three quarter inch fine. So three quarter inch fine was just a little bit too small and those threads pulled out. Didn't damage the threads in the tool though, which was good. So I had to modify it. That was time spent. Uh, machine something else quickly, try to help out. The really the biggest problem is, is that with the ball joint press that I had, the caps were not quite the right size to fit around the bushing housing, so to speak. Realistically need to be one just slightly smaller, slightly bigger, but those um, the control arms aren't exactly flat on top, so you can't get a very good straight pull. And of course the C-clamp uh, for this application was too, too small. If it was a couple inches bigger, probably could have made something work. But in the end, the amount of time and effort I spent fucked me over, plain and simple. So I should have a new control arm coming in by Tuesday, and then I can get the other side of the truck done and then be done with that and move on to something else. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. F-150 control arm bushings, don't even bother. I heard there's a special tool for it. It's like, uh, I looked online, it's like 400 bucks, not worth the time and effort. Anyways, motherfucker beer time, we'll see you guys later. Shut her down.